Enter your data into a table in Excel. This is your observed table. In statistics, we would call this a 2x2 two two contingency table, and the dimensions would change as the number of levels of each variable change. Calculate row totals, column totals, and the overall total. To calculate the totals, click the appropriate place in your table, type equals, sum, and highlight the row or column you'd like to total. Tap Enter. Repeat this process to fill in the table. Next, you will create a table of expected values. These values represent what you would expect to see for each cell if the null hypothesis is true. We'll use the formula expected equals row total times column total divided by population total. To fill in the cells for Gauls attacked in cold years, select the cell, type equals, open parenthesis, select the row total for cold, type star, Select the column total, Gauls attacked, close parentheses, forward slash, select the overall total, and tap enter. Repeat for all cells in the table. Notice, we don't need to sum the columns and rows in the expected table. Now, we'll calculate the contribution of each table cell to the chi-squared test statistic. In a third table, select the cell for Gauls attacked in cold years, type equals, double open parentheses, select the corresponding cell in the observed table, minus the corresponding cell in the expected table, type one closing parenthesis, caret, squared, another closing parenthesis, forward slash, select the expected cell again, and tap enter. Repeat this process for all cells in the table. To find the test statistic, select a new cell, Type equals, sum, and highlight the observed minus expected table. Now, select the cell where you'd like to store your p-value. Go to the Formulas tab, and click Insert Function. Select the Chi-Square Test option. Note that the test description for Chi-Square says it tests for independence, but it can also test for homogeneity, so we've selected the correct test. Click OK. Select the box next to Actual Range and highlight the Observed table excluding the totals. For the Expected Range, highlight your Expected table. Click OK. A p-value will appear in the cell you selected. In this case, we reject the null hypothesis. In your lab report, you'd note, we have evidence there is a significant difference in bird predation by weather for this investigation. Naturally, you will want to look for where the differences are if you have rejected the null hypothesis. Here the idea is to look at the components of the chi-squared statistic. Larger components are indicative of a difference. We can look back to the expected and observed counts for the cells corresponding to the larger differences to figure out if there were fewer or more observations than expected in those cells. For example, we can note here that more galls were attacked than expected in the cold winter. This test is appropriate when the variables have more than two categories each. The process is the same, you just end up with larger tables. See the course website for an example of a chi-squared test with more than two categories.